Welcome to Mouster House Campers again this morning, folks. Here we have a 2001 Auto Sleeper Palenza. It's the top of the range with a Peugeot chassis, 2.8 HDI SX. And it's the last of this shape, the facelift model with the airbag, power steering, of course, electric windows, central locking. It's actually remote central locking now with the alarm system fitted and all the bits and bobs. So 2001 Peugeot Auto Sleeper Palenza and it's the super rare example, a 2.8 HDI. There's less than a handful in the country for sale with this particular engine. Much more modern than the old 2.5 engine. Just as economical, but plenty of horsepower. Of course, it's got the one piece fiberglass body. which I'm sure if you Google or get onto the Auto Sleepers forum, you'll verify that these very, very rare suffer from any water ingress or damp problems. The main water ingress and damp problems suffer from motorhomes that have seams on the outside edges. And that's where all the stress points are. So if you, was, if you can imagine the seams on most motorhomes are right on the edge and that's where all the stress point is. Quite all right for the first few years, in fact generally up to 10 years however they have failed before that on other motorhomes but after that they get suspect and unfortunately because they're on right on the edge the other motorhomes the seams the water ingress just seeps in and as soon as you know it's too late. Game over Internal panels has got to be ripped apart. There's no real way of fixing internals. It's just a question of uh, hiding over the damage. But fortunately, Auto Sleeper have resolved this problem with a one piece fiberglass body. So the only points for water ingress would be something like a TV aerial or a roof light. But Auto Sleeper sort that out to their usual standards. So yes, the bodywork is in impeccable condition. The only thing you could say for a 16 year old vehicle that's a negative is just the stripes. But I do emphasize it is 16 years old. So as you can see, some of the stripes I've seen better days, that's about the worst. So there's a couple of options. Well, there's three options as I see it. Option A, is to stay as it is. That's the way I'd like to see a auto sleeper genuine and untouched. The other option is to remove the stripes completely. There's a few of these knocking about now with the stripes removed for that reason. Or you could go to a decal company, styling company, and get some stripes designed yourself. Okay, that's the outside folks. We'll just go into a bit of the detail. So you've got an outside locker. gains access to the outside area but you can also gain access to that cupboard from the inside. Gas cupboard with two Caligas propane bottles supplied. Your vents and the winter covers are fitted there for the fridge. Folding step that just clicks as such with a foot and pops out straight forward. You've got the Fiorma two bite rack that pops out easy and you've got all the fittings there for two bikes you've got the step and the ladder if you wish to gain access to the roof or put a roof uh, as you see the roof bars are up there so there's plenty of room and it's strengthened designed to put a roof box on if you so wish toilet flush and room to the Fetford cassette Two forty mains hookup, 
water, inlet water and outlet water. All nice tyres, they're all matching tyres and I've looked at the tyres, in fact I would, there's hardly any wear and tear on them. A new tyre would come with 8mm of tyre, I'd say these are 7 to 7.5mm seven all round. Let's have a quick look under the bonnet. And my last owner who had this for a long time has clearly looked after it. Uh, there's evidence of self-servicing as you'll see by the service book when we come to it. But he has looked after this as his pride and joy. When I picked it up the battery on test was a little bit low so I've just put a new heavy duty battery on and there's also evidence of the battery tray being wax oiled which is just a weak point on these uh, old Peugeot boxes. The old uh, batteries tend to overfill a bit and a bit of acid on there but as you can see on this example that's been taken care of. Nice and dry, nothing negative to report. Anything I can pick up on the white on the windscreen, it's got a couple of little chips. It's due for an MOT, so it'll carry a new MOT. They may be picked up as an advisory. If not, we'll get a new windscreen fitted. Just a note on the MOTs. If you go on the VOSA website and check the MOT history, the last five MOTs have sailed through with no advisories. And in the last 16 years, it's only failed twice. And you're waiting for it, folks. One failure was no water washer. And the second failure another year was the wiper blade was split. <laughs> I think some MOT inspector has been a bit pedantic. But yeah, have a look at the MOT history. It's as good as it gets. It's got the Fiorma F45 Plus awning. All fully functional. I don't think there's anything much else to... Uh, show you on the outside as you can see there it's got the roof light open in the back it's also got one in the rear for the toilet area there's the hot water vent with the cover on so walking inside again as you can see it's been someone's pride and joy cleaned polished looked after full set of mats over mats, nice chairs with armrests, passenger captain swivel, and as I say, this is the facelift model, so it's got the airbag. That buzzing noise is letting us know that the step at the rear is open, which is a good idea. That's up on the bottom. I'm actually going to go away in this next week for a couple of days. So I've had a habitation checked. Everything works just as it should do. And that's why I filled it up to the brim of diesel. 44,000 miles. Four-way electric mirrors. That buzzing's getting a bit annoying now. We'll put the roof, the rear step in. Everything is just working as, there you go, the electric windows, full away electric mirrors rather. You've also got the remote central locking with two alarm fobs. So that locks it as well as puts the alarm on and vice versa as you come here. Beautiful condition of the steering wheel. That beautiful condition, full stop. 44,000 miles, just running. Again, the carpets have all been well protected. Beautiful condition. This tray doesn't look like it's ever seen any ash. Remote control for the MP3 and USB CD player. Some paperwork underneath the passenger seat, we'll get that out now. That's done with. So, only had a couple of owners from you. I think it's showing two former keepers, but one of them was a dealer. As you can see, 
that'll keep you busy for a few nights or to sleep in manuals books bills i think there's a file there with every single mot from you but you can go online folks and verify all that information we've got the service history book so the last owner had it for a long time and self-serviced it but it's all documented I'll be doing a picture of the logbook so you can write or email the last owner and verify all this and I'll also include a new MLT so it done a couple of years ago at 41,000 miles and it's now on 44,000 uh, brake fluid changed in 2013 at 40,000 the cam belt has all been changed Right, moving swiftly on. 7.5 feet wide, or 2.2 .2 in new money, 10 feet high, or 3 metres. Absolutely stunning. We'll start in the bathroom area, a full shower tray underneath there, it's all been sanitised, have a quick flush is working, shower, everything's just so. Some lights on. All the taps working. Difficult to show the shower, but we'll try. There we go. Shower curtain, toilet roll holder. Kitchen area. All fully functional. I've gone through it. All the hot water works. The hot, the water works on gas as well as mains. Absolutely spotless oven and grill. See if I can black out blinds, that'll just uh, show us the the grill a bit better. And we've got mid nets. Grill doesn't look like it's been used. Oven again doesn't look like it's been used. It clearly has been because there's a, a gas stain there, but you're getting the idea, it's absolutely spotless. All important wine cabinet. Electric fan fitted to this last of the old shape Peugeot, with a facelift. So it's got an internal fan as well as an external fan. I actually had some knobs in stock from a previous auto sleeper because the auto sleepers, the just the chrome is a weak spot. The chrome tends to earn this. So 13 new push buttons 
and surrounds have been fitted as well as brass, brass knobs for the wine cabinet so all these are brand new full control panel some reason to get that cupboard up you have to take the monoxide alarm off but there you have it typical auto sleeper quality solid wood no MDF or cheap fittings in these that's why they hold the value and are in such brilliant condition four reading lights multi-directional nice closing functional cur curtains you've got the midge nets as well as the nets. just one note on one of the perspex windows it's got a bit of a crack there certainly not leaking in or causing any problems and it is double glazed so it's only on one side so there we go upstairs right. we'll just close that as follows so you can have it like that so you've got more headroom in the driver's cab area Very well straightforward and designed. With one hand on the camera, I can just fold it there, fold it down. Now the carpet, the carpet, the mattress, and the little fill in there, and you've got the folding ladder there. The ladder clips onto there. light again comes with the mid net all fully functional and the blackout blinds and you've got a safety net there for children's so no one's falling out of bed in the middle of the night the upholstery is spotless The only mark on one top is just being pedantic, a very small, you can actually get these repaired now, there's people that do actually go to and, and endeavour to repair that, but that's just being very fussy. A couple of marks here, I'm sure they'll just uh, wipe off, yep. Left a couple here. It's all been well protected. Over mats, but they're not hiding anything, which is the important thing. And a fitted over mat under the table area. And that's about it, folks. You've got the Trauma Ultra Heat Gas Heater as well as central heating. So that'll uh, provide gas, obviously, from the ventilation there. Or you can switch on the central heating, and then that will be blown uh, into the shower and toilet area as well as the front living area. You've got the three point forward facing seat belts, so four, three three point seat belts, plenty of main sockets. This bed makes up into a double bed there on the side, or you can make an extra large, in fact, one of the largest beds you'll ever come across on a motorhome. And that slides out and makes into one large queen size bed three-way fridge works on gas mains and 12 volt 
all fully functioning. Gas isolator taps. All important brush and pan. Mains electrics. And there is your Fiorma awning handle, winder handle. And that's about it. So just to recap, a 2001 Peugeot Auto Sleeper, 2.8 HDI SX top of the range. Extremely rare to get the 2.8 HDI. It's the fiberglass body, the model is a Palenza, and as all auto sleepers have a build number, so we'll just get the build number, and you can even ring up auto sleeper and verify the date of manufacture, there's the build number, and with the build number you can ring up auto sleeper for any parts. I'll be more than happy to deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom, and I do mean anywhere, free of charge for you to examine, test drive, inspect. If you're happy and you wish to go ahead with a purchase, payment by the usual methods. I'll even take a part exchange, car, motorbike or motorhome camper van. Just ring to discuss part exchange prices. And as I say, if you're happy, I'll either drive your part exchange back or get the train back. If you're not for any reason you don't have to go through back through with the purchase unlike some dealers that are asking for large deposits unreturnable and there's lots of scams on eBay I'm sure you've seen them all they're underpriced the golden rule if it's too good to be true it is thanks for listening to this video folks